Yeah, yeah, the thing about Team Tinker is they have a pretty clear game plan. Let's try to go late game. We get our Deuces some serious farm. We have the inevitability factor of being able to just not ever lose our tier threes because of Treant and Medusa, but middle lane, this uh He needs to be careful, you know. He'll take a leech seat to the backside. Black coming in with the right clicks, the paralyzing cask. It will bounce. Will it bounce back again? Yes, it will. The punch is coming through. Dragonite getting low. Bulb was there as well for the for the out, and Black finds the kill there with the Mystic Snake, which took the pile I die on way too. Oh, they broke Enigma, it. But yeah. did you see? I did not see indeed, and they're going to continue to just charge straight past the tower. No one is already at half health, and with the Maledict and the Fisher coming down on him as well, that's going to be another kill there. Pilot, I will claim it this time. But Team Zinka with the action, with the rotations, Way too. really punishing this Dragonite. <laughs> <laughs> Way too does, does die. And uh, he put the living armor on someone else, didn't he? Um, yeah. He gives Scotty directly, and then you stand in the front line and let your team peel for you in top lane. Oh, top lane indeed. They're going to throw the cooldown and the Ancient Seal onto Way too on this tree, and he will go down. There'll be a TPM from Pilot Dive. He's going to try and give it some to the Gyro, do a Quake for. He'll be able to pick off Seam of the Slayer here on the Scarf Maze. They do get a kill in return for the Storm Spirit as they bring down the It's going to be too much time between the pushes to where you're not dealing with damage. Mag's a little bit far out. We've got Quake for zip zapping, zooping in onto Mag. The backup's there from way to as well. It wasn't even needed in the end. Storm Spirit. B. Like, if you're going to be pushing in super hard, having BKB for the, the team fights around the towers is an amazing thing. You, you always want Magic Community to either run away or be able to commit and just hit people. Ooh, Quakefer. He's going to get spotted out by Mag, who does have the raw. Seema nice. coming in with the Ancient Seal and the Mystic Flare. That is how you kill a Storm Spirit. That's a big kill. And Quakefer was even off map farming to try to avoid that. Ventry, no one. And Seema the Slayer. There could be a bit of trouble here. Who are they going to jump on first? They've got this Dire Ward down. That they will see them, but they're right in the faces already. Ancient Seal, Mystic Flare, and Dragon Tail holding Quakefer in place. They've brought down the Storm Spirit. The Paralyzing Cast bouncing between them, but well, the Radiant, they don't want to fight here without the storm and with the fact that black he and with the dragon form up on the dk i think this tower is going to be dropping cask and fish coming out with the snake as well way too trying to wrap himself around but nine pashi bashi with the cooldown black will be able to walk himself out of it the tower now under half health and the push will remain and continue as they all oh, the living army keeps up and then the overgrowth and now the death wall from pilot die it was going on for the dragon but it wasn't doing any damage for the amount of army has it redirects it towards nine pashi bashi fisher catches him out zip four from quake for they'll be able to find the gyro here but it looks like the rest of the side of vega will escape they will here. smoke up and they've found black there's your primal roar do they have the uh uh, ultimate, where's the Mystic Flare? Is he not going to manage to do so? He doesn't, but it looks like they don't need it anyway with the Necro units coming out. Black's in a lot of trouble. He will go down here. And again, that's another very nice pick off there for the side. Bashi Bashu leading the way here. Paralyzing cast will get thrown out as Black clearing out the creep wave here with a split shot. Takes a Malefist to the face. Fisher comes down on tonight. Bashi Bashu. Now you drag and tail onto Black. Cool down and Mystic Flare coming onto Medusa with the Ancient Seal. Black's going to get blown up. Pilot Die does throw down the Death Ward, but Vega, they're just going to back up, walk it off. And uh, well, that was a very favorable engagement there for the side of Vega, they find the Medusa, they might even find the Tier 2 as well as the Tier 2 falling low. Doesn't look like Team Tinker will be able to do anything to stop the push here. Fisher comes out, but it's not enough. And Vega... Oh, but they killed him again also in the woods. So he's also died twice. It's not as if Vega are just letting them totally free farm Echo. Echo Slam and Koifer coming in as well to find the kill onto Mag on the Beastmaster. And uh, well, quick and simple there as they'll look to get themselves back out as well. Solo isn't nice. going to be able to kind of chase worried about. Yeah, of you know, course. It's very easy to catch the black hole with those. Oh, but not in the jungle here. Gonna see a quick pick. Oh, well, we're not. But that's <laughs> because we're watching top lane because Black, he's been getting it gone on here by the Jari. Puts the BKB to remove the overgrowth. There is the backup of Pilot Die trying to keep the Medusa up. The Death Wall comes through. We'll find down Beastmaster. And it is a one for one here. Make that a two for one as the Gyro. Nine Pashi Bashu clears up both Pilot Eye on the Witch Doctor and Black on the Medusa. Uh, uh, down bottom, it looks like it was what, just Enigma going down to the Storm Spirit and a little bit of a gank. And, well, maybe Team Sinker are going to lose more. No one coming in with the Dragon Tail. There's Seam of the Slayer with the Mystic Flame. And also Sam getting blown up here in the top lane. Three heroes down on the side of Team Tinker. And, uh, Team fights. And it looks like for the time being, it is going to be a casual point booster for Enigma. He's got an Ogre Club in his stash at the moment. Yeah. So he's going to go back for the BKB in mid lane with the Roar and the cooldown. And Mystic Flare as well. Black, I mean, look at the damage this taking. He does get himself four star back over the Fisher, But the damage will continue as they chase it down. Boba throws down the Echo Sam, but he does nothing. He goes down as well. It's a double kill for Gyro as he finds Medusa and Earthshaker. And... 
I, I can't remember the last time Team Secret had a favorable team fight, Draskal. I can't remember the last time they actually had useful vision. Like, they, they never see anything. Like, with the Beastmaster in the book three. Oh, here we go. Oh, Koifa zipping in. There's a buyback from Blackie on the Medusa. But Koifa just gets Ancient sealed up and walked from the midnight post. He'll go down as well. Pile out trying to do what he can with the Death Ward from the high ground. But they'll just back it off and wait for it to come come down. There's going to be Koifa zipping through, bringing them low zips out. Nightpashi Bashu is very low silent. Oh, there's a black hole on the free. The overgrowth does cancel it. Though. Leaf seed on tonight, Pashi Bashu. They brought down the gyro. Now they're looking for no one here. Black's coming in. And he has got that Scardy trying to chase down the DK. Pile out dying way too. They're going for the Enigma. No one turns around the Dragon Tail. It won't be enough to keep him alive. He goes down solo on the black um, enigma, on the black hole enigma. But that's the name of the hero that I'm trying to get. Paralyzing cast comes through. Wait to pile out with the punches. Lee see to be thrown down and solo. He gets trapped up by the creeps. He goes down as well. So Team Sinker with the buybacks there do manage to make something happen. But we and against uh, in the second second game here, this best of three. I mean, Dragonite on the side of Vega, I think he's pretty much got the AC complete. He was just... That's all he needs. Yeah, he's got it, yeah. And Bleak Forward, Raw here onto Quake. Further Rocket Barrage doing damage through the Living Armor. We'll take the charges off. Quake tries to get himself up, but the Malphite's coming out in time, stopping him from being able to ball lightning out. And now they'll chase down Bulba. It's going to be another, another double kill here for Nine Pashi Bashu on the Gyrocopter. And that's just Storm Spray and Earthshaker down for this base defense with no buyback available. So you remember when I said I wouldn't even be surprised if they had people dead before the push started? This could just be Rax here. I don't think the Dusa has enough damage to be able to even hit the Gyro. Yeah, I mean, Jari just sits there. He's totally unfazed. Fortification will come out. Solid with the Malefist trying to chase it down. Ancient Seal and Mystic Flare. In comes the Arcane Bolts as well. It will make Black go home and he will come back in, but he's got no mana. He can't really fight. Pilot I did throw down the Death Ward, but they just keep out of range and then they return to the Rax. That's going to be a melee Rax down in the mid lane and it looks like it'll almost certainly be the ranged ones going down as well. And, and Vega... It, it really, at the start, it didn't look like it was going to go how they planned, but now 31 minutes into the game. Yeah, seven second PKB is not too bad. And the DK also has eight seconds left on his as well. Solo hasn't even made a BKB. He's like, yeah, whatever. I don't need magic immunity. My team just carries me. It's no biggie. Smoke up here from the Radiant. Oh, there we go. They're going to find Seema the Slayer and Seema the Slayer. He will be Seema the Slayer. Oh, no, he won't. He does pop the mech. Ah, it's not going to be enough. They do find him. There's Koifa. Fanit manages to find out the Sky Raph Mage, and he finds the Enigma there as well. It's going to be a two-hero streak there for the side of Team Tinker. And, and yeah, Jari gets himself out. But yeah, so, as, as you said, do we remember, it was the Aghanim Scepter on your uh, Enigma, as you were saying. Yeah, I wasn't actually expecting him to go full Ags, because... Do you never go full Ags? It's just... Not an Enigma, usually. <laughs> At least not before BKB. Like, as a fourth yeah. item or something, I totally get it, because it's a huge amount of damage. Pilar die. Goodbye. Having a bit of fun there with the old dragon. And uh, also on this lane, Koifa... Wait, he didn't uh, even have wards. What was he doing there? <laughs> Mate, he's Pilar die. Don't single fight is usually like a 4v5 or a 3v5, because one or two people are dead when Vega are pushing in. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a real test of time when it comes to the next clash, and the next clash might come soon, because, well, oh, I'm Pashi Bashu. He's going to find himself a team here as Bulba is going to come in, but Echo Slam onto Illusions. Quaifer will continue with the Orchid onto Solo. Vortex and Fisher following up, bringing the Enigma down. The mech won't save him as he does get taken down by Quaifer. Bulba getting himself loads of the Illusions that he Echo Slammed. I mean, they do find the Enigma, but it's all a little bit messy and a little bit sloppy there from Team Tinker. When you echo illusion, oh, they don't even Oh, Lincoln from Mac, he's trying to find himself a fight for the Stone Gaze and the damage from Black. They've taken him down. And Nine Pashi Bashu has been caught into the effects of the Stone Gaze. Will pop the BKB, but the damage from Black with his MKB is nearly more than enough. He pops the Satanic Nine Pashi Bashu is not enough to keep him alive. Three heroes are down on the side of the Dire. And now maybe, maybe even more. Koifa is trying to find Seema the Slayer, but he hasn't got the mana to quite chase this one down. It looks like the Scarif will get away. But what a fight there for Team Tink. He's got a ward nearby, he sees everything. And oh, Quaifa sees everything as well. Going on to Seema the Slayer here. The paralyzing cast bounces through once and now. Well, the Maladin comes to no one. Can they go for this? They're going to pop down the electric vortex, but Quaifa, a little bit lower mana. Now BKB is popped by the Dragon Knight. Quaifa gets himself out, and Paladine will be forced back. Looks like no one on the Dragon Knight doesn't want to chase this. So wants to get out, but the fish is blocking him. Maybe they could go back for round two. Blink forward from Bulba. Procs the passive there with the Enchant Totem, holding the Dragon Knight in place. Now it comes Solo. Black Hole is going to catch two. Bulba goes down. Dragon Knight now turns his attention to Storm Spirit. And a massive two kills there for the side of Vega. As a very nice Black Hole there comes in to turn that engagement around. He even got the... Looking for an opening. They do, of course, have the Echo Stamp, Stone Gaze, Death Ward. Everything's up for both sides as well. Black Hole is also here for this push, and Black now heads up with the cooldown. The Nine Pashi Bashu 
will get caught out. Bulba, Echo Slam, and that, as you said, it's brought down the gyro, but it's Echo Slamming a gyro who has the Aegis. They're going to be back from round two. Pilado gets Dragon Tail. Mystic Flare comes out, but he gets enforced out solo. Now with the Black Hole onto Black, but he gets cancelled by the Overgrowth here from Way 2. And now they're trying to turn and continue to fight with the Death Lord as well. They found two. They're going to be able to make fun of the Dragon Knight. No, he eats the cheese. He's going to live. But look at this. The Gyrocopter trying to run out of the back of the fight. He's getting very, very low. No one. He's trying to fight against Black. Black first in the Dragon Knight. They both go down. There's a double kill here for the Dragon Knight. Two heroes for four at the moment. Koifa trying to find Nine Pashi Bashu, but Nine Pashi Bashu thinks about trying to find him. There is also a tree around the Lincoln Sphere. Will block the missile. Now is it forward from Koifa. Way too blinks forward. In with the Leap Seed. Now the paralyzing cast. Can they bring down Nine Pashi Bashu? has got a lot of damage. Will get pulled forward. Cooldown has come down. He's very low. He'll find the Storm Sprint. He finds way to the tree. And now he turns to Pylite Die. Will he be able to find him? The Shadow Army. It's going to be enough. Pylite Die will live, but it's a double kill for the Gyrocopter. Nine Pashi Bashu managing to take down both the storms. Nearby. I guess he can use the Necro unit with a mana burn. Yeah, but it was not fast enough. Like, he he okay. needs the Necro book to be like on top of him yeah. when he does it. I guess it could refresh Necro book, mana burn, roar, but that's really hard. <laughs> and Koifu also has mana regen, so he might have been able to disjoin it. Here, Here we, we go. go. Up to the high ground. Nine Pashi Bashi wants it over his safe. It's an echo slam to the face, and Black just stands there with the punches. Pilot died with the Death Ward going through the BKB. Of course, Nine Pashi Bashi getting himself low will go down. It's a one for one trade so far in this fight. And now your Black Hole onto Koifu, onto Black, onto those two big cores. There goes Koifu. Black, he's very low as well. He's out of mana. He's out of luck. He'll get a roar to the face. Black goes down as well. Double kill for the the Dragon Knight turns his attention now to the racks. He finds one black has brought back. Pops the Stone Gates trying to stop Vega's push here, but Vega they just back off. Solo getting loads of the Scotty. Link for oh. way too. Very nice overgrowth, but where's the follow up? Way too says, Guys, where are you? Black is back at the base trying to find the Dragon Knight because Dragon Knight he's trying to get the Mega Crease. Dragon Knight goes down. They also lose the Sky of Mage. It's only Solo now going back through the mid lane. Blink for from way too tries to find the Lisi, but the cast animation is not quick enough. Enigma will be able to blink away. Base is defended. But at a at still heavy cost, though. It's going to be now or never for this base defense from the side of Team Tinker. They need everything to go perfectly. They need a full duration death ward from Pylite Die. They need a five man Echo Slam. They need Black to catch them all in the Stone Gaze and start hammering away with the damage. It's, it's a lot. But Team Tinker, can they do it? Nine Pashi Bashu with the cooldown. Fisher to hold the gyro back and zip for from Quaifa. Who's he looking for? He's looking for Mag. Silence is up, Mag. Echo Slam catches out solo here on the Enigma. BKB popped by the Enigma. The Death Ward gets popped down. Nine Pashi Bashu taking a lot of damage. Quaifa trying to finish him off. And Black, he's going to be able to maybe bring down Nine Pashi Bashu down. Was no, he popped the Satanic, continues to fight. So in case has come out. Black is out of mana. Blink forward from way two. He's looking for the Oak Grove. Hasn't used it yet. They haven't brought down Nine Pashi Bashu. He's still alive. They've lost the Air Shaker on the side of Team Tinker. Now Pilot Die takes a Dragon Tail. And an arcane bolt to the face. He goes down. Buyback straight away from the Witch Doctor, but he hasn't got the Death Ward to use again. Quaifa, what's he going to be able to do? He's had to back up to base to regen. They've lost the Rax. It is now Mega Creeps favoring the side of Vega. Gyro will get pot, loses the Aegis. But I mean, Team Sinker, they give it their all, but they're two heroes down. Two heroes without buyback. Can they do anything else? Can they pull anything out of the bag? Quaifa goes through, but he gets Ancient sealed up straight away. Nine Pashi Bash is there with the damage. Buyback now from Quaifa. Mecha's been popped. They're looking for no one. No, he turns his attention to Mac. Mac oh. with the raw onto Quaifa. Black, he's getting taken down by Nine Pashi Bash. No one. There's going to be a solo black hole onto the Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit will fall. They've only got the tree and left alive. No buyback available on the rest of the side of Team Tinker. GG, well played, is called. They gave it their all, Team Tinker, but Vegas draft, welcome to 6.84. They outplayed them so badly this game. Like, during the laning phase, it's usually the team with the jungler loses the laning phase. It's pretty common knowledge, right? But you don't lose badly enough to where you think, okay, well, our game is going to go badly because our lanes just went so badly. But that DK got...